Hi, my name is JJ and today we are going to explore the science of sorting. I have shells, so I'm going to be sorting my seashells into different groups. You can use whatever you may have at home, whatever kind of collection, whether that be a collection of rocks, minerals, or even what's in your kitchen cupboard. The science behind sorting is known as classification. Scientists and biologists use this to help them understand the world they live in and nature. Let's get started. Some notepaper and a pen or pencil or marker or something to write on. Um, and from there, you can go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is look at your full collection and spread it out and make some overall observations about your, your collection as a whole. From there, you'll want to make some notes and start to group them into sections. I'm going to do that right now. So what you'll see is the first thing that I did with my shell collection is I looked at them and I made the distinction between whether the shape was round or a different shape. Then with my round shells, I looked at which ones were smooth and which ones were textured. And I was even able to organize them further. My textured shells, I organized by which ones had a round base and which ones had a square base, which was able to get me groupings of these different kinds of shells. Over here, we looked at which ones were light color and which ones were dark color. And then with our other shaped shells, we were able to organize it into ones that were flat on the ends or pointed. And we were able to organize the pointed ends by which ones had a swirl pattern, like these, or which ones had no swirl, and on my flat ended shells, we were able to organize them into the ones that had a smooth texture or ones that had bumpy textures on them. My name is JJ. Until next time.